to my phone, I won't answer Got your bitch on the telly, shaking like a dancer And I'm cracking cars, you ain't know I was a scammer She just want my money, you can't touch the empty hammer Lean on my jeans, go up, make it hard to stand up Rings on my finger, put some money on the dresser Money on your head, now they holding you for ransom And I can fuck your mom, cause she's saying I'm so handsome Niggas is my seat, swear these niggas is my grandson Money falling out, now she's saying I'm so bandsome Trapping up Yo, how you guys doing? What's up? It's a Spinner Podcast. This is going to be episode number 26. I got Lil Flame here. Yo, what's Be- good? Before we get into that, we got a few things to say. Uh, behind the camera, I got the entire gang, pretty much. Like We're only missing like literally Manny and Bruno, and that's it. Everybody else is here, the whole rest of the gang. Check out Huey Gets Lost, his podcast, podcast number one, Huey Gets Lost for the photography. Uh, the best photographer out there. I got No Way back there, I got Willie back there, and I got Alex P- PTSY back there. Uh, check out his podcast, Podcast 19, if you like talk about crackheads and shit. Check out my last podcast, it's Chrissy Minaj, I just released that today. Shout out to everybody, uh, we just hit 100 subscribers earlier today, we're at like 102, maybe 103 now. So shout out to you guys, we, the growth has been a little bit faster lately, so I've been really appreciative of that. Check out my playlist videos. I do them every week on my YouTube channel, Spinner Media. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram if you want to be on a podcast or if you have any feedback. Not saying I'll take you, but you can hit me up. Podcast <laughs> platforms uh, on audio format. I have it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and more. So shout out, uh, check those out. And fuck American Airlines. And to introduce my guests, I got Lil Flame, uh, Freeport's own. He's been on my last playlist video I just released a few days ago or, well, at this point probably like a handful of days ago. Uh, he's, some of his recent singles are Ex Bitch, uh, Jewel, Stupid Cool, is that one? Is that how you say that? Stupid Zool. Stupid Zool. Don't Clean It. And he's working on his tape, I Love You Flame. So, how you been, my guy? I'm good, man. I'm chilling, man. High as normal, man. Kicking shit. What's up with you, bro? Bro, I've, I've, been, I've been having a good time. We've not my bank account, but other than that, everything else has been great. Everything else in life has been really good. I just got off work at 4 a.m. last night. That shit was ass. <laughs> and an oversight missed my internship today. So we're off to a flying start. Um, <laughs> yep. Uh, so anyways, so tell me about your your, your upbringing. How, how was life early for you? You had to move, I know. So how was how was that? Um, Coming up, when I was younger, me and my family, we had lived in Queens. I lived in Richmond, Queens. Mm-hmm. Um, I went to school in PS 108. I went to school with Nino. We both moved to Freeport, which is kind of funny. Mm-hmm. But whatever. Growing up, I was pretty bad in school. Like mm-hmm. I was like cutting school, going to the candy store, stealing and shit, getting in trouble. You know, damn. Hanging out with the older crowd. You feel me? Doing mm-hmm. stupid shit. At a young age, I had got kicked out of school because a female, like a younger girl, like she was bothering me. Like she had pushed me. And mm-hmm. she had, like, kind of spit on me. So Damn. I pushed her mad hard. And then, like, I got into a superintendent meeting, da-da-da. And they was like, yeah, we can't have you in the district no more. Damn. So they, they kicked us out. So my mom wanted to move and give me, like, a better upbringing so things would be better for me. So we moved to Long Island. We moved to Freeport. Mm-hmm. And then, I mean, it, it things didn't get better. Like, I kind of just got worse as it progressed. Like, I was a badass kid. Like, mm-hmm. I was smart in school, but, like, I didn't apply myself to school. Like, mm-hmm. you feel me? I didn't yeah. apply myself to school at all. No. Okay, what, what what about school did you not fuck with? I liked school because there was bitches there. Mm-hmm. I would go to school to, like, trade sneakers mm-hmm. and, like, sell things. Like, I would sell, like... I would bleach people's jeans, or I would, like, put rips in their jeans. That's cool. Or, like, sell pens and put them on chains. Mm. I was, like, I was a young entrepreneur, like, mm-hmm. I did a lot of things to make money. I don't know, like, I liked school, don't get me wrong, but, like... You liked it because you got to gather with people that you liked and kind of shared ideas, but not necessarily the classroom aspect of it. It was, like, that the fact that you had a bunch of people at one place at one time, like that's kind of what you liked about it, maybe? I liked you know? school because, like, basically that year, I had a lot of friends there, and I, my favorite subject is science. That's really? my favorite subject, yeah. Okay. I don't I didn't like math, social studies. Although I was good at it, mm-hmm. I sucked at math, but okay. every other thing I was good at it. I just mm-hmm. never went to school, like mm-hmm. class. What did you, what did you like about, what kind of science did you like? What interested you about science? Like, 
I like the earth science. Earth sciences. Yeah, okay. and like learn about like minerals and all that shit. Like really? the rocks and yeah, bro. I like that shit. Are we gonna get a song where you just like start like, grabbing about volcanoes? <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> nah, probably not. But that would be hard though. Bro, yeah. I mean, here's the thing. I probably like, said I probably said something about volcanoes before. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, cause like, well, I mean, that maybe that's why you like diamonds. Because yeah. diamonds and minerals, I mean, that's earth science, that's all comes fact. together, that's man. That's a fact. I didn't think all about comes that. Together. Yeah, that's probably that's, why you like to. That's, like that's that. true. Yo, like, pretty much all these rappers, maybe all their subjects, their favorite is science. It's got to be that or that's a fact. math. I mean, because of, of money. It's got to be one of the two. Um, anyway, so when did you actually start making music? Well, me and my, my friend, I used to call him my cousin. He's Tyreek. When we was in, like, dad, we used to, like, walk home and we would freestyle, like. Okay. I wasn't really dropping music, but we were just having fun with it. When mm-hmm. I started dropping music, we had a little team. It was called Good Aura, and around that time, too, we was dropping clothes. Mm-hmm. I started dropping music around, I'd say, eighth grade, maybe ninth grade. Okay, when, what year are we talking here? Fuck, I want to say my first song I dropped, it was My Anatomy. I want to say, like... I don't even. I want to say 2013. Like, Shit. Okay. Gotcha. 2013, maybe 2012. I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. really remember. It's really long. So you've been out this for a minute now. That's yeah. that's good, bro. You still got a lot of experience. So um, so how did how was your sound back then? A lot different, I'm guessing. Well, my sound basically, I would say like I was really influenced by Pro Era. Okay. So I would I was very lyrical. Mm-hmm. Like, I wanted to come bar for bar for bar like. Damn. If you look at my old songs, I I still they might be privated on SoundCloud actually. Okay. Cause my, they wasn't getting that much love. Mm-hmm. But they're still on YouTube as well. It's called The Good Over, and mm-hmm. I was very lyrical, and I wanted to like I mm-hmm. wanted you to listen to my music and be like, wow, like you feel me? He's, gotcha. So Joy yeah. Badass was at that. I I wasn't in New York at that time, but Joy Badass and Nick Caution and all mm-hmm. those people like the whole pro. Era. So how East big Coast. were they? In New York, right at that time when they were coming out, I feel like they had a big influence because, like, everybody was like, "Yo, they're dope." They're talking about like, you feel me, like conspiracy theories and shit. Like, it was mm-hmm. it was really dope. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. And they were hella young. I didn't realize mm-hmm. how young they were. Like, they were teenagers when they and were. And they doing were like all our age too, which made yeah. it even cooler. Like, yeah. I made that shit even cooler. Like, I don't yeah. Know. That's crazy, yeah. So when did the transition start happening for you where you're like, I'm going to ditch the lyrical sound and we're going to go to uh, a more jumpy sound, more like, you know, pop say, head shit? Like, around the era, when people when people started using SoundCloud more, like, mm-hmm. I say when Lil Yachty was rapping and Playboy before people even knew about him. So Uzi, 15, 16, like around Yep, there. around that time, I was mm-hmm. like, yo, this is fun because I always wanted to rap about, like, on some fun shit because yeah. I don't really like rapping bar for bar, although I can do it. Mm-hmm. I want to have other shit. Like, I want to rap about swaggy shit. Yeah. Like, I want to melodic, just fun shit. Like, mm-hmm. but Were you not having fun with it before? I was having fun with it. I was always having fun with it, but I felt as if I was putting too much effort into it. Okay. Like, I was trying way too hard to be very lyrical and make it sound good. Okay. And I, yeah, like, I find with music or with anything, when I don't try my hardest and when you just let it come natural, that's when you make the best stuff. Okay, so you thought it was forced before, kind of. Correct. Okay, gotcha. Mm-hmm. So when you made the transition over and you recorded that first song and then, or well, I guess it was more of like a transition. It was like not just one song and then I had a total switch for you. Mm-hmm. It was probably over time, right? So how did it make you feel then? Were you just like coming out of the studio recording and like you're like, wow, like this is like a bright new page for me now? Well, like my first song, I remember I recorded it. I hit up Nimbus. I went to his crib. I was high as hello Zans. Mm-hmm. I recorded two songs. I recorded 28 grams, and I recorded Fuck It Up. Mm-hmm. And then I dropped those songs, and people was like, yo, bro, you you sound high as fuck in these shits. Mm-hmm. These shits are still hard, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was like, you slurring OD, but this shit is hard, bro. Yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. Like, mm-hmm. You feel me? I fucked with it. Yeah, sure. Still a little bit closer, probably. My bad. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Um, so uh, w- when that happened... And so you knew right away that you were going to make that switch right over. What were you listening? Okay, so let me backtrack. So you said Pro Era was your early inspiration. What was your ins- You said Playboy Cardi, Lil Yachty. Was there a few others in there as well? Yeah, there was a few others. There was, like, I'd say Famous Dex, mm. Key, mm-hmm. um, a lot of people. Tracy. Yeah. Fucking um, 
a lot of people, man. I can't even like name all of them because I fuck with a lot of people. Like, mm-hmm. not even people that's up too. Like, I fuck with underground people too. Yeah, for sure. Is there a few underground ones you remember off the top of your head? Do up. Uh huh. Kane. Do up Kane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck with him a lot. Like. Yeah, that would be a cool song. Yo. You too. He be. He's mm-hmm. a cool dude. He's finally getting a little bit older. Yeah. That dude was like fucking 10 years old when he came out or some shit. Like, well, nah, not that young, but like 13. Like 15, 16. Yeah. When he started getting his buzz. Damn. That's Bugs. crazy. That's crazy. But you were also a younger artist coming up. How? Mm-hmm. Okay, how was that? Being a, an artist who was like about 14, 15 making music like nah, that. No, I wasn't that young. I was okay. like, um, I said I was like 16, 17 making music. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. That's when I first started. Mm hmm. And how is it different? Your approach now that you're a little bit older than you were back then. Well, different as in what? Okay, like um, do you okay do you approach the studio in more mature sense now, or yeah. post songs, or is it is it the same as before? No, before I used to approach it like, all right, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna do this, and this is how I want it to sound like. Mm-hmm. Now I go because I have a home studio. Cool. But when I do go to a studio, I just go in there, I lay down a beat, and I have fun. Like you feel mm-hmm. me? I approach it. I just don't. I approach it like I don't know, like anything. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like anything you want to do in life. Yeah. I put my effort into it, but yeah. I don't try too hard. I just let it, let it out. It comes mm-hmm. natural and it's fire. Yeah. So, um, so how many? Uh, what does a studio session for you look like? Like, paint a picture for me. Studio session for me. The Little Flame Studio session. How is it looking right now? First off, I gotta listen to the beat first. Mm-hmm. I let the beat ride out. You feel me? Mm-hmm. If the beat, if I can't get up and like bounce around to the beat, I can't rock with it. Like so. Next. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Like within the first ten to fifteen seconds, if I don't know if I fuck with the beat, mm-hmm. I'm smoking. I'm either smoking, I'm high, or I'm playing Xbox. Okay, what games you play? 2K, mm. mainly 2K, skate, mm. fucking, I play mad shit. I play okay. everything in my voice. Yeah, so for 2K, will you, uh, who you play as? Well, I got a couple players. I'm a playmaking sharp, and I have a fucking um, three-level score. Oh, Thanks. shit. So you play the my player mode, as it's called? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I really got into that, but that's, yeah. that's, it's hella deep. Like, you start this story, but there's so much to it. Uh, it's fucking fun. complex. Are you ready to, pl- are you, did you start playing 2020? Has that come yeah, out yet? The, the, my yeah, player? Hell yeah, hell yeah. 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 I'm hot as fuck. I was about to be like, wait, what? Nah, I did that. Yeah. I got out the crib and bugging. Mm-hmm. How far are you right now? How much money has your, has your, uh, your player made so how, far? Like, how much money? Like, how much money your, your guy making? I mean, he's not making that much money, but he's making, like, my player's like a, he's like an 88, he's about to be a 90. And that's Jesus like, Christ, how many seasons you win? Nah, I'm not even done with this season, bro. I only play, like, 30, 40 games. If you grind, your dad's get the chips. What the and fuck? And I spent money on the VC. I dropped, like, 40, 50 dollars. I ain't gonna lie. Atta boy, atta boy. You got <laughs> the flyest character, you think? Nah, hell no. My coach, my, my player outside with the doodle brown shirt, he got the 2K generic <laughs> on But we bowling, nigga. <laughs> But I'm bowling, nigga. Bro, so you got like the generic Everything, look right now? Yeah, nigga. Bro. I, so he's like J. Cole kind of. Yeah. He's coming out with just a white shirt on. But he humble because he boils <laughs> out. I boil out. Everybody know I boil yeah. out. Do you? Okay, so your 2K my player, does that have a totally different um vibe to it than, than Lil Flame the rapper? Like, Do no. you have an element of the 2K my player? No, 2K. I, the only reason why my player looks like that right now is because I want him to get to a 90 first and then I'll pop out. You feel me? Like, I want to oh. work on his attributes first. Okay. To be smart. But nah, every 2K pair I ever made looks like me. Like My mm. hair used to be orange, so I made his hair orange. He got braids. Okay. What position do you play? Um, he's a small forward. Okay, yeah. that's a fun position. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. You can do everything. So yeah, for sure. All right, so getting back on the music now, where where did you see um your music kind of climb up a little bit? Like, what was the point in in time, or has you been like a steady grow, or have you been like I had this one song where I was like, God, like this put me on, like that was like the I mean, that was like the one for me personally, well, that's special. I would say my music started growing last year mm-hmm. around this time. My good friend Eric, me and him, we had a talk. Like I had just came out of jail for catching an assault charge. Okay. And I had a, a couple other charges too, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then I went to his house. He invited me over. He was like, "Yo, bro, let me talk to you." Mm-hmm. I was like, "All right, you feel me?" He was drunk or whatever. Mm-hmm. So he was like, "Yo, bro, like you've been doing this shit for a minute, bro. Like I fuck with your music and all, but I feel like you you could be so much better if you actually like 
tried a little bit more harder, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And he was like, yo, bro, like, you're nice. Like, your lyrics, you're just not putting it out. I feel like you're rushing it, and you're just dropping it. And I was like, bro, like, I really appreciate that, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. I went home, thought about that shit. I was like, yo, that's real shit. Mm -hmm. I came back the next day, fire ass song, my first song. Was can't relate. I dropped that with Phil Two K, mm -hmm. one of my favorite producers from Germany. Germany. Yeah. God damn. From Germany. Okay. He dropped it. It went stupid. It did like twelve K. Mm -hmm. I think it's at like fourteen, fifteen K right now. Okay. And that's when I started getting the buzz. I was like, alright, this auto tune shit is fire. Like, yeah. kept fucking with it. Mm -hmm. Oh please, and then lean on my jeans and diamonds. Oh, lean on my jeans. Those is cool. are the two yeah. songs. Lean on my jeans really put mm -hmm. me on like OD and backwards. Fuck the swisher, okay. but that's way before. Cuff my jeans. That's when you say, um, I, I ain't cuffing no bitch. I like cuff my jeans or yeah, that was in the song. Nah, that's Diamond. That's on Diamond? Uh, yeah, she want me to cuff it, but I'd rather cuff my jeans. Yeah. yeah. That's a cool line. I fuck with that uh, one. Yeah. Yeah. No, those are, that's dope. So what what inspires your music? Is it just like how you're feeling in the moment uh, then? Or is it... Like, what, what, how, how do you craft a song? Well, I craft a song on how the beat... On how the beat is laid out, how it bounces, what places like it stops at. Mm -hmm. I also craft the song on how I'm feeling mm -hmm. or what I'm thinking at the moment. Like I try to incorporate a lot of things about me or a lot of things that I'm doing in the moment. Yeah, gotcha. So do you have songs that are a little bit when you're more happy at a better time in your life? You're you're a little more happy and you're a little more upbeat, and then you have songs where you're a little, you know, I down mean, a little more. Cause you're not actually you're not really down in your yeah. songs. Like that's another thing. You, yeah. I think that you're one to listen to when a person. Is in a good mood, mm -hmm. like you're a good one to put on, or they're about to go out during the night, or mm -hmm. they're out during the night. Like exactly. you're, you're definitely in that realm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I've made songs that are a little bit on the downside. Like mm -hmm. this is one song on SoundCloud. A few people know it. Um, it's called Withdrawals. Okay. Because I, I was, at a time and point, I was doing a lot of drugs. Yeah. And like at a time and point, I was homeless as well, and I was sleeping out in my car or whatever. Okay. And I have recorded a song at my friend QC's crib, and it was called Withdrawals. And mm -hmm. it like, it was like it was kind of it had like a fun vibe, but you could tell what I was talking about. You feel me? Yeah. I was talking about having withdrawals and shit. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I try to make music to uplift people, like, yeah. cause I feel like when I live to listen to a song, I don't want to be down. Like, yeah. I want to I want to be happy. Like, I want people to listen to my song and be like, Yo, fuck! I want to go outside and smoke a blunt. Now. Right. I want to go outside and do something productive. You feel me? Like, right. I want to go fuck a bitch or something. You feel okay. me? Okay. Like, there you go. I don't know. Like, have fun to my shit. That's yeah. what it's for. Mm hmm. Okay, so you said you were. Li How was it living out of your car, man? I mean, it's been. It, it wasn't. It wasn't for a long time because mm -hmm. I eventually got a spot to live at. Yeah. But like, there was times where it was hard. Like I was jugging and shit. Mm -hmm. But I've always, I've always like. I, although I was living on my car, I had money to eat. Like I've slept yeah. in hotels and shit. But some nights I had to sleep in my car. Yeah. Damn. I did what I had to do. Yeah, that's crazy. And yeah. so, how would you? I, Cause I've dead ass sometimes thought about like holy shit, if I do like a crazy road trip, I might forget like to book a hotel or something like that. So I might have to sleep in my car. How are you sleeping in your car? Would you sleep in the back seat? Would you sleep in the front seat? Sitting uh, up? Or how are you know. sleeping, dude? Like I would sleep in the back. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I would just sleep in the back. I would like smoke, or like I would leave shorty crib, brush my teeth, take a shower, mm -hmm. on the whip, and just you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What uh? So where where would you sleep at? Because like I I feel like around here around like low key like around my crib. Low key. Really? Yeah. Okay. Low key in the neighborhood. Yeah. Okay. I don't go too far. Okay. Yeah. Cause like I I remember um like if you slept in a in like let's say a shopping center parking I lot they're gonna in kick bandos. you. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. How were those? There was this, I don't want to talk too much, but there's like, there was this crib on the south, full crib, bro, mm -hmm. fully loaded, nigga, yeah, shit. beds, everything worked in the crib, lights, everything, bro, I was lit in there, Damn. I tried to keep it low key, Uh huh. I was in there for a minute too, Damn. yeah, hell yeah, mm -hmm. that was crazy, was that before or after you went in for, for doing time? That was before, that Bef was like... Three, four summers ago. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. So you've been, you've come off of that for, yeah, you've been yeah, out yeah, that yeah. for a while. I was out there like, mm -hmm. like how was too. being locked up? Like, does is it like how the the shows pro, uh, how people portrayed to be? portrayed to be? No, yeah, no, it's not. Mm -hmm. Like, 
I feel like if the only re- the only way it would be like that is if mm-hmm. you're snitching or if you on some gay shit or if you're <laughs> on some pedophile shit, you feel me? Okay. Because I went in there and my hair was orange, you feel me? Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. and, and, and you feel me? I'm like, I'm not that brolic or anything, you feel yeah. me? But I went in there and people were showing me love of GP. Really? Like, you feel me? Yeah, I went into 72. Matt O has just shown me love. Everybody was showing me love. Really? And then when after I got out of 72, everybody that know that I've been to a county, when you mm-hmm. go to 72, you went there for like two to three days. Mm-hmm. And then after you get out of there, you get you get your home or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then you go to your dorm. I was in a working dorm, so luckily we got extra bread, nigga. Mm-hmm. All that extra food, nigga. Sometimes it was extra trays, nigga. We was eating good, nigga. I got fat, all that. Really? Yeah, hell yeah. Damn. Fat, how long were you were you doing that for? Well, how long was I? Was, what were you in for? I was in like for two to three months, bro. Two to three months. Yeah. Okay. And what would a daily life? What would like? Like a day. A day. Yeah. What would be a day when you were locked up? Ah, uh, so boom. You wake up. I think you wake up at six. Oh, they make you wake up yeah, at six. You Shit. gotta wait. You gotta wake up for the count. That's when mm-hmm. they wake up and they count uh-huh. everybody. You feel me? Make sure you good. Uh-huh. You lay back down. Then you wake up again. You get food. Mm-hmm. You get a little breakfast. You get a little cornflakes. Maybe a little. Peaches and shit, you feel me? Do they have any lactose and top, like lactose free milk? Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. I don't remember, but God it's bless. like a little blue milk. You feel me? Oh, thank God. Cornflakes and shit. Okay. And then that's like the wackest cereal. Yeah, that shit is trash, bro. <laughs> yeah, you look I, like you like Fruity Loops or I something. I never ate the f- I never ate the breakfast, bro. Mm-hmm. Never. Skip that shit. Yeah, like I would take it and go back to sleep. Oh, oh, so you you could go back to sleep. You would just have yeah, to wake up for that one. Because you got to go back to yourself. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Damn. So you just not eat. You had a lot of rotten food in your dorm. Uh, uh, in your nah, room? nah, nah. Hell no. I would either throw it away or give it to people. You feel me? Okay. I would drink the milk or whatever. But <laughs> damn, I'm like, yo, y'all want this? Mm. Like, yeah. <laughs> damn. So then, how was? What were the lunches? The lunch. I'm not even gonna hold you. Some yeah. of them shits was clap. Really? Which I mean, ones did you I like? I don't know if I was hungry. Um. I kind of fucked with, there was like, there's like this big ass, pat, like, it's like a meat patty, but it looks like a, it looks like a brake pad. Uh-huh. Niggas call it a brake, I don't know. <laughs> like, it looks like, like a brake pad, and it has like lines on it and shit. Uh-huh. And they give you like mashed potatoes uh-huh. and shit, and you chop, I put it all on the bread, put the mashed potatoes on top, eat it like a sandwich, that shit was bust, nigga, you really? mad <laughs> Bro, you know what's a big uh, thing yeah. on YouTube is like the people that were in prison. They would come out and they do those after mm-hmm. prison. You've seen. Those I know videos? you're talking about that white guy, right? And There's he's a like few of them. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah. I've seen those, bro. The guy who's like in Virginia or some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. Know exactly, what you're talking about. He, st- he showed the pizza. He showed the where you take Ritz crackers, you break that shit mm-hmm. up like that. Niggas really be on that type of time, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I mean, there definitely, I think, is an art to this shit, no doubt. It is. You gotta, you make a way to survive in there. Uh huh. Yeah. Is is food like the best pleasure in there? Did you did you find out or? I mean, like, to be honest, being in there sucks in general. You feel yeah. me? So I wasn't really having the time of my life. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like the first couple of days I was there, mm-hmm. I had zans. Oh okay. Yeah, I had zans. Like I witnessed the cell over when I was in seventy two. Like this old head, he had zans. And he had gave me them. Like, he had gave me, like, two Zans. He was mm-hmm. giving everybody in the fucking Zans. Because he knew he couldn't keep all them Zans on. Damn. But he was acting stupid throughout the whole night. Like, he was banging on himself, <laughs> keeping everybody up, bro. On God, bro. Because <laughs> it takes just one psychopath in there to keep everybody up he like that. He wasn't even acting crazy, bro. He was just being annoying because he kept asking for the CO. He was like, yo, CO, CO. Mm-hmm. I need toilet paper, CO, CO. You feel me? And then the CEOs came in there like the next day because he wouldn't stop, bro. Like he kept everybody up, and everybody was like, "Yo, we gonna fuck you up when we get out." Uh huh. Yeah. And the CEOs came in there and they beat him up, and it was like, "Y'all seen?" He was like, "Y'all seen that, right?" Yeah. Like, pressing charges, da da da. Right. For real. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, my god. Yeah, god damn. Out. But at least okay. But there's nothing. Nothing's happening like some beyond scared straight shit. Like that's that's not happening there. No. No, I've never seen that. Right. And nothing like that has ever happened personally. God bless. God bless. All right, so where do you want to take your music? What what what's your current mindset on music right now? 
as of what? As of, as of like, taking? okay, maybe take last two months and then maybe this month going forward. Last, like, what's a present? The last two months, I haven't been dropping as many songs as I've wanted to. Mm -hmm. This month, I'm probably going to drop to like five to four songs. Like, I want to be more consistent like how I used to be. Mm -hmm. I haven't been being that consistent due to a lot of things I've been going through. Yeah. But I have been dropping a lot of music still. Like, yeah. If you go on my SoundCloud, I have over 100 songs that you can listen to and be consistent. Damn. And on other pages too. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And what do you want? To, how do you want to evolve your current sound going forward? Like, what are you trying to add? In As my sound, what I'm trying to add, like, I want to add. I like the melodic shit, but I'm trying to add a different aspect to it. Like, I want to add different. Like, I don't know how to explain my music. I rap mm -hmm. like I feel like I'm swaggy. Like mm -hmm. the way I get on tracks, I swag shit. Like, I don't want to yeah. sound like nobody. Yeah. Like, I don't want to feel like I'm copying anybody. Yeah. I don't want to sound like nobody. I want to sound like me. Like when mm -hmm. I want to rap, I want you to be like, all right, that's it. Like I know that's it. Sounds mm -hmm. like it. you feel me. So is it a, 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 a it's gonna be a little different in terms of flow in terms yeah. of delivery? Uh, it cool. Be distinctive. Like I'm gonna I'm trying what I'm doing now. I'm trying out a, a lot of new flows. Okay. Like I know my fans are used to like my normal slow flow, a little bouncy, a little yeah. fast. But right now, I'm trying different flows because I don't want to keep the same flow. Like, mm -hmm. that shit's boring. I want to have fun. Yeah, and evolution is important for an artist, exactly. for sure, because you got to evolve kind of with the times and not stay, you know, this mm -hmm. sound, oh, this sound sounds like it should be from 10 years ago, exactly. you know, you know, and then, but also keep it interesting, too. You know, that's good that you re recognize that because that's mm -hmm. what's going to keep people like myself and like, Everybody who's watching this, listening for sure, exactly. for sure. Okay, so let's go off of the music a little bit. Um, talk about so who are your current top five Long Island artists at this moment? Top put you five. or not top five, not order, just the five of your favorites. For the five people that I fuck with right now, mm -hmm. um, excluding I gotta Lo say, I gotta say, my boy C, I fuck with C. Mm -hmm. I fuck with C. Um, I fuck with Aggie Dave. Aggie Dave. Yo. Yeah, he's cool. When I first saw him, I thought he was going to be this crazy lyrical rapper. But then he came in and I was like, what the fuck? No, but I fuck with it too. Yeah, like, facts. he doesn't look like you look at him and you're like, yeah, this guy's probably like, going to be spitting on some stupid shit. Like, nah, nah. nah you, you always thought, you always I thought, I don't that know. I just feel like he'd be an aggressive rapper and he kind of is. Yeah, a little kinda bit. Is. You can see it. Like, I just, Jiggy, but definitely yeah, 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 I fuck with it. I fuck with it. He's a great, like, he's aggressive when he's on the mic. I fuck with it. That's good, man. It's him. Mm -hmm. If it's him. Yeah. But yeah, Aggie, um, See my little brother Love Wavy. Okay. Um, I fucks with y'all. Mm hmm. Um, everyone, everyone been saying him lately. Yeah, I fucks with y'all. I fucks with Trigger too. Trigger go hard. Trigger's cool. Yeah, Trigger. When Trigger you in the when you in the mood for Trigger, like he, no, Trigger, Trigger he slides. really, really delivers for you. No, he always Trigger comes slides, through. Bro. Yeah, he, he has slides. cool new music video by the way, dude. I saw that shit. Uh, that shit's yeah. cool. I fuck with Death that Station one. Dead Station, Trigger, all, all, all OTS. You guys did a good job on that one. A lot of, I fuck with a lot of, I fuck with a lot of, I fuck with a lot of, a lot yeah. of rappers. I, I don't know a lot of top, but mm -hmm. yeah. everybody know. Yeah. Then tell me your top five right now in general. Like just anyone in the world. Music. You can pick Barney if you want. I don't fucking care. I'm going to put me in the equation because I like my music a lot. Good. One. So, um... Kanye. Okay, for Kanye, sure. Of course. Yeah, he's my legend, best of all time to me. He's the goat. I'm just gonna name like OG rappers I like: mm -hmm. Kanye, K. Cuddy, mm. JD Kiss, mm. Fifty, Jay Z. That's my favorite rapper of all time. Jay Z. Jay -Z? Really? Of all time, Jay Z. Interesting. Yeah. I thought you would go with somebody a little more wavier than that. Nah, I fuck with Jay Z, bro. Like his mm. whole shit is. Just, I fuck with it. How would a Jay Z and Lil Flame song like? How would what would be the balance of I that? Would, That's like so polar opposite. I feel like I would contrast with him because I could feed off of people's energy. Mm. Like sometimes when I do when I do music. Especially when I'm doing music with a person that doesn't like maybe do music like me, I'll be like, bro, send me an open so I feed off your energy. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't know. If I was doing, I would have you have the hook. Mm -hmm. Have you have the hook? Let him take a verse and just speak, spit the fuck out of it. Exactly. You know, talk whatever he wants to talk about, and then it would have to be, you know, it have to be. You would have to be on your on, you know, just going crazy, you know, your fun shit. And then he needs to come in saying, yeah, bitch, I'm a billionaire, like. <laughs> 
<laughs> motherfucker. Like I can, I can. You know, I, I just hate yeah. giving out. I hate giving out hard features, and then people get on them, throw some trash shit on it. Mm-hmm. You know, and Jay would never do just, that though. Nah, I know he would yeah. never. He yeah. would never. Yeah. What have been uh, some of your favorite um, songs that you've had somebody else on? Like, what's been your favorite feature, either that you featured on or someone featured for you? One of my favorite songs that I've had that's featured. Damn, I have a, I have a lot of songs. Right? Mm-hmm. One of my favorite songs I have that's featured is probably with K Supreme. Okay. That shit went dumb. Um, I fuck with that one. Damn, I like I like the um other song I got with my boy Forever Baby Flex. Uh huh. Um, fucking Lucky Clover, that shit's going dumb too. Mm hmm. Um, I fuck with the new song with uh, skateboard. Yeah, that's a nice ba- like yeah, you guys yeah. are a little bit for like in the in the similar realms. Like that's not a polar opposite, but that really worked. Like the mm-hmm. chemistry was really easy to yeah. put together there. I'm fucking what's that song called? Green Beam. Green Beam was stupid. That yeah. shit goes dumb. I like uh, that song a lot actually. I think that's my yeah. That probably yeah, be my favorite yeah. song on Dead Stations tape. Yeah, that was good. That shit goes dumb. Like, I really I'm like, throw that I'm in a playlist like, video. Man. I gotta throw that, that one in the next one. Dumb, like, oh, mm-hmm. Bro, that would be a crazy music. Too. Yo, skate, nah, yes. we is. That's crazy you said that. We is shooting a music video, so. Really? For that, yeah. Stay tuned, yeah, because that, you. The vibes would be crazy. People are gonna be, like, dancing, jumping and shit. People are gonna be we're gonna skateboarding. Go we're gonna go dumb on that video. Yeah, you guys better have, crazy. like, we're fucking have five two. Red Bulls in you, okay? <laughs> no right. perks that day. No. No perks on no. me. Mad Energy. So, how do you get. What do you do for Mad Energy? You personally? I don't know, bro, because, like, I can have energy of anything. Like, I can I could eat person and have energy. Like, I don't know. Like, mm-hmm. sometimes I got to put some of my music on. Like, I listen to music, and I'll get energy for that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. So not necessarily you don't have to put anything in your body. It's just, yeah, like, mm-hmm. you can just get Natural off the body. Energy. Yeah. So what song would you turn on if you, like, waking up and, like, fuck, I got a long day. I need lots of energy for this. What song would you recommend to the Probably, people? Um... I will, Wavy Zans, it's up, yeah. Wavy Zans? Yeah, that's my boy. Shout out, mm-hmm. shout out my boy Wavy Zans. The song play. you have with him? I um, have plenty of songs with bro. We got okay. a lot of songs that go dumb, too. Mm-hmm. But I'm not on it. It's just him, and it goes, it's, it's hard. So that's one? Yeah. All right, cool, yo. Cool. All right, so let's get into some other shit here. Um, so, have you had some, some stupid-ass jobs in the past? I mean, I've had a lot of jobs. Mm-hmm. Most of them are stupid because who wants to work in nine to five? But like, yeah. I do what I gotta do. Like, what have you been in the past? Uh, I've worked at Subways. Yo, I worked at Wendy's. <laughs> Yo, and that was the most like which that, location? Like where at? It was in Merritt, bro. Oh, okay. And like that place was so fucking crazy. Like I used to come to work, uh-huh. zen the fuck out. I robbed my manager, like... Damn, I'm sorry. I, took, I robbed him for, like, two ounces. Oh, okay, so not, like, actual money, but no, it, was, no. it was, okay, so Yeah, I robbed him for weed, so he can't tell me, right? <laughs> I robbed him for, like, two ounces, and then, like, I quit, like, the week prior, and then, like, I couldn't get a job for that long, so then I came back, and he was there, and then he tried to, like, tell... The other man says, oh, don't hire him. He yeah. smokes mad weed. And it was like, everybody smokes weed. <laughs> yeah, come on, and they, bro. And they hired me. He was mad tight. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So you had two stints at Wendy's. And the crazy part is, bro, I robbed him on a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> like, so wait, how did I got to tell you this story. No funny <laughs> shit. Like, I was like, yo, bro. Because I hit him up. I'm like, yo, bro, you got weed, right? Because I knew he was trapping. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yeah, bro, link me. Bring, like, two ounces. Uh-huh. Cause I show I took a picture of money I showed it to him. You feel me? Like I got him hype, and mm-hmm. then he pulled up with his girl in a big ass minivan. Uh-huh. So I got in. I put my bike on the side, right? Yeah. And then I'm like, yeah, let me see the gas, bro. Yeah. Uh-huh. Open this, mother. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, how much you want? He's like, four, bro. I'm like, I counted my shit. Uh huh. Looked at it, looked at him, looked at it, looked at him, put the shit. In. Dip opened it, got my bike dip, bro. Man, man. <laughs> he tried to get out and like chase after me, but I was out, nigga. Dude, I was going, why did he nigga. just change you with his damn minivan? He tried to chase saying. you on foot, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, he tried I guess, to do some tough guy shit. I guess he was embarrassed because I did it in front of his girl, too. Like, damn. Hmm. They still together? I don't you know. Don't know. Who cares? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. goddamn. Man, low flame embarrassing people, man. 
Oh well, I needed it, man. No, that's that's content that goes right into the fucking songs. Like that can go right into the songs. I needed it. Pretty legit. You can you can allude to that as much as you want. That's some legendary shit. Fast, bro. And yeah. That's a true story. True Everybody st- know that. Mm-hmm. Was that at at the Wendy's too? No, like I literally met him like a block around from his crib, which he lives by. He lives by Wendy's too, which is OD. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. That was crazy. That is some crazy shit. What else do you... Uh, how was Subway? must have sucked dick, dude. Well, Subway, like, they literally hired me and trained me for, like, three days and, like, fired me. Damn! I don't know if they fired me, because I used to go into, like, the freezer and, like, eat the little chicken. Ah. <laughs> you so you were eating that disgusting ass shit? That shit was good as hell. What the hell? Wait, with the, the cutlets or, the like, the strips? Like, the strips, bro. Okay, the strips are a little better. Nice head, nigga. Yeah, the, the cutlets, hell no. That shit looks like... Yeah. Like bricks. Like if I took this and I slapped you across the face <laughs> with that shit, like that, shit that would leave a hurt. mark. I think that's that not that's hurt. not real. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know they've been putting like hella chemicals in your, in, in, not in in their breads and shit. Like they For had real? to take them out like lately. Yeah. They've been putting chemicals in everything. Uh-huh. Yeah. I used to think Subway was incredible because I didn't. I'm not from New York and yeah. I don't. You know these delis out here are incredible. And there's so many of them. But back home we don't have that. So our sub shots are literally the subways. And at this time Jersey Mike's wasn't a thing. And like mm-hmm. Jimmy John's wasn't a thing. So like we would. That was like the best sandwich was fucking Subway. Trash, dude. Now like I can't even believe I was eating that shit for like ten years of my life. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Um, okay, so let's talk about a few more things here before we wrap this shit up. So you said um, you witnessed someone die? Yeah, man. When I was younger, me and my, like, I, I go fishing. Like, me and my pops and my grandfather. Rest okay. in peace to my grandfather. But, like, we went fishing in Queens or whatever. Wait, you can fish in Queens? Yeah, there was a place. We fished on the beach, I think. Oh, okay, somewhere, cool. Somewhere, like, on the beach. Mm-hmm. And we had seen, I had seen, like, Three people walked past us. It was a shorty and a male, and they walked to the pier, to, and they got in the water. Mm-hmm. They was playing in the water, whatever. We was fishing. We wasn't paying in no mind. And then we see, like, two bodies floating, bro, in the water, bro. Wait, two bodies just floating? Yeah, bro. Like, that shit floated across us, like, right in front of our eyes. We was like, what the fuck? And, like, they, like you feel me? It was just their shirt. Like, you just seen their shirt going like this. What yeah, the bro. fuck? That shit kind of like, I was like, yo, you feel me? You I was just young a little kid, fuck. yeah? I was young as fuck. I was like, so yo. So what happened to them? They they was di- t- I think the current take them out, you feel me? Because, like, the other guy, he was on the pier. Like, he was chilling. Like, he was like, nah, I'm fucking with that. Yeah. Like, two people, it was a shorty and a guy. I think they were drunk, you feel me? They got in the water, they was fucking around. Current pulled them in, and. They just drowned to death. Mm-hmm. God, was on what the, news the fuck? And everything, bro. I seen that shit. That shit was crazy. God damn. And there was a third guy too, and he just lost his two friends by just. Yeah, him. bro. He was sick. I think he left because when I looked over there, there was nobody over there. I was like, damn. I was young as fuck, bro. I remember that was yesterday. That's crazy. Oh yeah. Dude, I've never seen somebody die, but I've seen somebody plan a murder before. <laughs> oh, I gotta actually tell this shit. All right, bro. I I totally forgot about this story. I haven't put this one out. So this was my grandparents. They moved from Southern Maryland to North Carolina to retire. So they're in North Carolina, and we have to drive back and forth. And on our way back, we stop and get fast food or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm at a Hardee's. That's the only time I've been to a Hardee's. This is in Virginia. I'm standing there in line, and there's this clerk who's on the side. This is by the way when I was afraid of like. Um, this is when George Bush was the president, and I was like afraid of a bunch of shit. So this guy, this gender, he's like, uh, he starts the conversation. I didn't know who to shoot. I'm like, what? Excuse me, what? So it sounds like this this clerk from Hardy's that he was planning on killing somebody. He totally missed, and they were just talking about all kinds of crazy shit. I didn't understand it at the time, but that was the only thing I remember. Like at the time, like, what the fuck? We was talking a bunch of gang shit at that time. I was like, what the hell? And I was like afraid of guns at this point. Uh, in my life, yeah, t- crazy, That's crazy, crazy, bro. bro. That shook me, so I couldn't imagine actually seeing somebody die. Yeah. You know, every once in a while, some idiot will put like on Instagram they'll should put somebody getting shot on that, <laughs> and and that fucks me up. I'm like, dude, what yeah. the hell? Like, why do you enjoy watching that? Yeah. You know, this is not like Call of Duty or some mm-hmm. shit. You know, these are actually like real people that like literally they their mind has gone black like yeah. right when that happens. That shit is crazy. Yeah, man. fuck this guy by the way on Instagram. Who put on this thing of? I only saw not even a half second of it. It was this guy's head getting cut open because he had a bunch of maggots in there. And I'm afraid of maggots. That's I'm not my one I'll be doing shit like that too. I'll be posting. You be posting shit like that? Yeah, because it brings attention to your page, but can also bring followers and also bring like you feel me. 
But this was like a this was a, like a, a meme page. Oh. Uh, you know, this was supposed to be funny. This was to be like it was like hood fights were mostly on yeah. there, and and then he puts that shit on there. He's like, somebody saw I, I'll follow that guy immediately. You watch him follow you, little bitch. Don't do that to me, you motherfucker. Um, <laughs> so where do you want to go? I know you told me that you're um, you're produced from Germany. Where would you like to travel to, my guy? I want to go to Germany too because mm-hmm. Germany shows me a lot of love. Shout out to Phil Two K. Shout out to Low Stack, mm-hmm. IC Six One Two Ola. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Ola. I want to go to Germany because I got a lot of fans in Germany. Yet. Uh, I feel like I do a dope ass show out there. We are gonna do that real soon. Mm-hmm. I recently been to LA. I wanna t- I wanna tap in with LA again. Yeah. I wanna go to Atlanta. That would be good for yeah. for your sound. I think that'd be a great mm-hmm. place to go. That would be dope as fuck. I wanna actually move there, but everything. A lot of things being the worst right now. You feel yeah. me? I ain't gonna give too much, but yeah. Yeah, definitely take those risks, man. Uh, like those, yeah. even if you go out there for just maybe a month, two months, it's definitely useful mm-hmm. to get that experience. Like it's yeah. a study abroad almost for exactly. any other job. Yeah, that'd be dope. You going to Germany because like I didn't know uh, before I started maybe like three, four years ago when I started really getting into like the underground scene where that the the Europe shit's crazy. Yeah, bro. They're insane. Like I don't even know how they find they these got fucks. A dope ass sound, bro. Like, yeah. I fucks with it, and the people is dope. The like, fans are great out exactly. there, dude. They show mad love. Yeah, yeah. fuck, yo, that'd be awesome. Like I've seen like shows in Russia. That'd be mm-hmm. so sick, Hell so yeah. sick, bro. Um, yo, yeah, that the, you gotta work with like a UK artist too one day. That would be sick, bro. I plan on it. Somebody yeah. want? I wanted. I was actually gonna work with um. This is this is kid in Germany. I was gonna work with him. He's mm-hmm. like he raps in German, but it's so fire. Like, yeah, it's dope. Sometimes like language just doesn't doesn't matter, and like mm-hmm. you know you can just kind of get the feel. Especially if they have a music video behind exactly. it, you can feel like what they're talking about without even knowing their words. That's so dope. Mm-hmm. That's dope to me. That's what music. That, that's one of my favorite things about music for sure. And I definitely want to travel for it as well. Um, yo, let's talk about some tattoos. You got a few tattoos. What, what tattoos you got? Um, I got. King Tut right here. King Tut. I got, I got my grandfather name because he passed away. Mm-hmm. I got a sugar skull. I got a lot of tats. I got like a Mishka Abu right here. Mm-hmm. I got with my shorty. I got this. I got Pisces. I got zombies because I fuck with zombies. Mm-hmm. Cross mom's name. I got mad tats, man. Yeah. Tats everywhere. Everything seems to have like a meaning behind it. That's good though. Yeah. Man, you're a Pisces. Yep. Okay, you're right before me. I'm a, yes, that, that's March, right? Like um, March. Yeah, I'm I'm Aries, facts. so I fuck with it. I, but again, I heard about these Scorpios, man. And lately, um, you know, I didn't used to believe in this shit, but these Scorpios be going crazy. Are you a Scorpio? No. No. Okay. Yeah, I heard that they're like hella unloyal. You can't trust them. You know, Drake yeah. is a Scorpio. I like Drake's music, but I, you know, he's so a Scorpio, unloyal. man. Everybody unloyal, man. Yeah. Don't trust these hoes. These mm-hmm. hoes are unloyal. Yeah. Why do you think people are unloyal? Well, I'm gonna be honest. Like at one point in life, I was unloyal, mm-hmm. and it's because like I wanted to have fun, and I had too many options. You feel me? Mm. Mm. Like I understand people want to have fun, but I do believe you can love two people. Okay. It's possible. You could love two people. I feel like I've loved two people before. Okay. But I don't think it's right. Like, I feel like if you really want to be with someone, you should commit to that person. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But Interesting. How many times have you have you had that feeling? Like, oh, how does that, how does that work? Like, you, I guess you love somebody first, and then somebody else comes into your life, but you still love the other person? I don't know, bro, because it's like... When I when I talk to somebody like I don't be like I talk to them for them like I be f- I, I just have a mutual connection with them you feel yeah. me like they be they be fucking with the vibe and I be fucking with their vibe and mm-hmm. how do you I can have them? love for somebody and like I don't know it's a different type of love you feel mm-hmm. me how do how do you uh, how do you get a uh, how do you capture little flame's heart it's not two K my player right nah no. <laughs> I don't know buy me weed and drugs and perks and like. <laughs> yeah. Be loyal to me mm-hmm. and be real with me and I love you yeah. forever. What drugs did you get off of? Like you said you said Zans, you like me before I was really into Zans and shit, but we don't do that shit now. Yeah, yeah, fuck that shit is fucked fuck up, Zans. man. I eat perks, I drink lean and shit. Like, I'm not Damn. proud to say it, I do it though. Mm-hmm. I'm on perks right now. Uh I smoke weed, do acid, but that's what I did. Yeah. How was that acid trip that you were talking about before? Um, oh yeah, with her. We'll we'll uh, finish up real quick yeah. and then. Well, um, 
On acid, my first time being on acid, I took it with her, and we was in the city, and the first time, like, she had gave me, like, a half a piece, and I didn't really feel it, and I was uh -huh. like, what the fuck, like, what did you give me, like, this shit's not working, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. She was like, oh, now nah, you trying to play me, my shit work, like, da-da-da, uh -huh. and she gave me another one, and I put it on my tongue, I waited for it to dissolve, and I swallowed it or whatever, mm -hmm. and then, like, yo, 15 to, like, 20 minutes after, bro, everything was mad bright. Damn. I was like, yo, I'm fucked up. Damn. And I was, I was smiling. I was so happy. I felt mad happy, bro. Mm -hmm. You didn't see like any crazy visions on there or whatever? No, but what I did see crazy. When I came home on the LIWR, somebody was like passed out, my nigga. Like, <laughs> and the boys had to take them off. And Damn. I, yeah. I was so high, bro. When I got back to the hood. Mm -hmm. Like, I forgot where I lived, and I circled my block two times. Damn. And I had to call, I had to call somebody. Mm -hmm. I had to call Jackie, and was like, yo, like, am I in the right place? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where I was at, bro. Damn. I was so smack. Yeah, what was, um, all right, last, last thing we'll talk about. So, these, you've been having some crazy dreams? Yeah, man. I've had dreams, like, I've died, like. Uh-huh. I've had dreams like family members have died. Like I've seen, like I've seen my dreams happen in real life. Like really? shit is crazy, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I feel that, man. Like I've seen myself blow. Like I've seen myself working with people like in studios before. Uh huh. That's crazy. Nah, I only remember a few dreams of mine. One, I was in like this wagon, and then I went up this big ass hill. And I jumped off, like, across the highway, and I was going to die, literally, but I, I woke up. Do you think someone can die in a dream? I don't know. Like, Do they get fucked with their head so think? much and that kills them? You know what I be thinking sometimes? I be feeling like, how do we know if we're not really dead right now? You feel me? Like, obviously, we know we're alive because we're breathing and shit. Mm -hmm. How do we know the people that's not dead? I don't know, bro. Yeah. I be thinking, you no, feel me? I just no. think, you feel me? Like, how do we know totally people that's not you. dying or just living? And we not dead already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You feel me? I don't know if I said this story know. before, but I thought I that th there's a chance I died in 2003. Bro. I'm not kidding. I'm not no, kidding. I believe it, bro. No, I'll tell you why. Believe so it. I was in kindergarten, and there was this big ass slide. It was like so, it was like there was a playground over here, but then there was this like slide, giant slide, and there was always a line in it. So we were, I was up waiting in line. I was up at the top, about to go on. I crouched down, just like him. Um, crouched down. <laughs> And then the next moment, I'm literally on the ground on the left of the slide, like this, on the mulch. I never remember going down the slide or anything. And this kid named Jordan, shout out Jordan, comes up to me and he's like, are you okay? Nothing happened to me. No bruises, no nothing. I don't remember how I got there. I think I fell off, but it was crazy, dude. That's OD. Bro, more than OD. That's crazy. I might have died, and I'm and now I'm like I'm here, but this is like the afterlife. That's so deep. I don't know how this happened, man. Uh, Anyways, yeah. yo, do you have anything? We're gonna have to wrap this shit up now, but um, yeah, anything to say for everybody else? Nah, man, you already know what it is, man. Shout out my boy. Shout out Death Station, all that, man. Gang shit. Mhm. Mm and be on the lookout for his. Uh, I New love tape. flame tape. I love you, flame tape. Mhm. Mm Gang shit. Fuck little flame. Yeah. So check him out on Insta your Instagram is fuck little flame. I'll have fuck that shit. Flame. Fuck little flame on everything. Yeah, in the, down below I'm gonna have that shit. So check him out there. Like, listen to his music. He's got some fire stuff. He's consistent. Uh, if you want to have a vibey good time, hit uh, put this man's music on. All right, he's one of the best out here. Yeah, sure. um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. If you're on audio format, uh, subscribe to the channel. Like, hit me up on Instagram S K B E N I T G, and uh, stay tuned for more. Bye bye, see you guys later. Diamonds on my neck, then they dancing. I can cuff a bitch. I'm not romantic. She want me to cuff it, but I'd rather cuff my jeans. I'm not on my toes, so I got royals on my feet. I'm a lean fiend, green fiend, yellow, white, sins, and I'm rolling on a green bean. Fanna with the sprite, mess it up, now it's not clean. When they throw themselves, niggas never at me. All my niggas popping like some fucking acne. Change time.